All right, guys, we managed to scrounge together a fifth round for you. Two players we've seen before, but they decided to play, so we are featuring them. We yeah, got and, and hopefully hopefully this time Boggles doesn't absolutely shit on this black-green <laughs> player like we saw earlier. Yeah, tonight. I mean, maybe it will. Who knows? Yeah, we we watched Ryan Kurz, bless his heart, uh, lose, in, lose game one because he was on the draw and couldn't thought sees his opponent's boggle and then in game, Lose two, game two to the ley he line. keeps it yeah he keeps a hand with inquisition thought sees opponent drops the turn zero ley line yeah oh, man brutal <laughs> but hopefully this will go better so i don't know yeah. who won the die roll but patrick has both thought sees and liliana in hand yeah i was i was just telling mario i think whoever wins the dice roll will win the match uh that's not always going to be true but i that's where i would bet on if i were uh if i were betting on this game which i don't i don't bet on baseball or magic all right that was, uh, a, that was a Pete Rose joke. Yeah, I got it. All right, Patrick. Uh, Patrick does have Lily of the Veil uh, in his hand, so that in his hand. Yeah. Does he know that his opponent's on Boggles? Probably at this point. Justin has been playing Boggles yeah. for a while. Justin also kind of looks like a Boggles player. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. He does. He, we're all we're all that, th we're all thinking that it. Boggles demeanor. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a little bit derpy, but you know, like dedicated and and trustworthy. Right. Yeah. With a Kings Island shirt. <laughs> Must be a Boggles player. <laughs> Classic Boggles. All right, so Justin's probably mulligan doing a very thorough shuffling for this mulligan to six. Yeah, this is uh, this is more shuffling than than <laughs> I do in a match. You think we could tell him to hurry it up? <laughs> we got places to be, oh, man. Well, there, we're revealing cards now. Our opponent knows oh, about geez. Boggles. Uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Well, I don't know, Mario. There are a lot of decks in the format that play Hyena Umbra. <laughs> That's true. It's just a good card. My uh, gr uh, Aura Swap deck. Oh, Aura Swap, dude. Aura Swap Eldrazi Conscription. That is a that That's is a real at. thing. That deck is real. So it looks like we got a Spirit Mantle. Snap Keep. We're there. Spirit Mantle, land, land, Glade Cover Scout. Oh yeah, I like this hand. That's all you need. And we're on the play. Boom. Ah, oh, can't lose. So we Justin can't. We can lose to <laughs> Liliana. No, 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 can't lose. Like I said, Justin on the play. He's gonna win this match. All right, we'll see. Let's see if uh, if he has the uh, the solidarity cartouche, then I like it. But let's see if Patrick has the turn one traverse the Elvenwald. Do we think that's what's happening here? I think he's thought seizing. I think he's thought seizing too. But and he could traverse for I think, a basic line. I think after this thought seize, given that I'm judging this hand right. You take the uh, Rancor? No, I don't think you take I think you take the Spirit Mantle. What is that to get lifelink and flying? No, the Spirit Mantle gets plus one, plus one pro creatures. Oh, yeah. So it makes it unable to be blocked by shit like Tarmogoyf. Oh, no, pick the take the Daybreak. You got to take the Daybreak here. Yeah. Well, I could see an argument for Daybreak or Spirit Mantle. But your opponent doesn't have two lands. Yeah, so maybe you, you just take the one drop. Well, one of the one. Well, yeah, he's uh, gonna draw land eventually. This is tough. I he likes rancor. All right, take the rancor, man. I that was probably my last choice. I'd like to talk to him after the game about why. I mean, I well, you can't get rid of it ever. Sure, but it's just plus two o path. <laughs> Isn't there for two? All right. Well, Liliana the Veil might win this game. Does uh, Patrick have a third land? Okay, yeah, he has yeah, a swamp. He's got plenty of lands. Yep. Down I would love to watch Justin play a Dryad Arbor. Draw top deck Dryad Arbor. Yeah. <laughs> or the Solidarity Cartouche. Found a second land. Wait, does... No, so the Totem Armor doesn't get around sacrificing, right? No, no, okay. it does not. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're taking a hit here, but Liliana the Veil is... Uh, Yeah, Patrick doesn't even care. He knows he knows this all he's talking about. Yeah, he he knows he's won the game already. Um I'll tell you, if I'm Justin, I don't know if you even have to run out this. Yeah. All right. Seems well, seems yeah, cuz now cuz now even if Justin finds another dude, he uh Lily will be able to take back up and make him sacrifice that as well. Yeah. Yeah, tough life. Down goes the boggle. I'm sad. Honestly, if I was just that, I probably would have just conceded right there. I don't know how you. Oh, now he, he draws now the cartridge of solidarity. That's that feels bad. Yeah, 
something we got rid of that guy. Well, I guess now that he drew Cartouche, a future boggle becomes a lot better. Yeah, but this Lily's going to shred apart his hand. Yeah, that's Though, true. to be fair, we don't know if Patrick has cards he can afford to discard. He might if he has, yeah. you know, if, if, if Patrick is holding, like, Path to Exiles. Souls. Well, I was going to say, I or think Pats, he can drop yeah. his single target removal, but he, he doesn't want to drop Abrupt Decays. Right. Um, He's got a lot of cards in hand. He's got lands. He's got a Sister and Wildwood. You can discard that. But that might be a good thing to leave just for a threat. You gotta discard the mantle here. Spirit yeah. mantle, Bob. Yeah, Bob's a little yeah, you can't, yeah, you. The Bob would be good if if Justin didn't make that last attack, but six is too low to play the Bob. Is that a spirit link? <laughs> yeah. All right. You're gonna abruptly get a spirit link. <laughs> And now Patrick discards his last card, and I think that's game. Or Justin, I'm sorry, discards his last card. Yeah, this this Lily's up to two loyalty. Um, yeah, he, he can't really win from here. And discard, discard lingering, lingering souls. souls. Oh, yeah. too good. Flash it back. All right, I think it's time to scoop it up, Justin. We got people have yeah, people we, have things to we do. Got, yeah, we got we got places to go, people to people to do. No, just kidding. Uh. Maybe Justin has some sneaky, uh, sneaky tech, direct damage. He's getting out of here. Yeah, maybe he's maybe got like a, uh, a ghost fire. Well, so I will say that uh, some Boggles players play like four gut shots in the sideboard. Um, <laughs> so you could have, you could have six gut shots in his right. sideboard. Right, he scooped it up. He he got the memo. All right. This is not your worst matchup, he, Justin. I think any deck with Lily of the Veil is his worst matchup. No, it's they're 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 your bad matchups. It's not your worst matchup. What's the worst? So. You have some pretty bad matchups. Uh, one of them is Infect. Infect is a terrible matchup. Well, yeah. Uh, Tron, traditional Tron is a terrible matchup because you're just not fast yeah. enough and they go Karn, Ujin. And then um, uh, Burn is a pretty tough one because of Deflecting Palm and Skull Crack and Atarkas Command. I would say all three of those matchups are worse than the black-green matchup. Okay. Um, but I only so I even though, even though they can't deal with the boggle, they can just kind of yeah they they just beat you I through mean, it. Yeah, de deflecting palm is just a beating. I think <laughs> the last yeah. time we watched yeah we did we saw him lose the burn. Yeah, and I I I, I happen to know way more about boggles than I would ever like to because a good friend of mine played the deck for years. But yeah, you're you have some terrible terrible matchups. Um, and although these like I said these these black green matchups are bad, but if you're on the play, they're not so bad. Especially with this new cartouche of solidarity. Being yeah, tech against true. Lily. This matchup is fine. <laughs> I guess we'll see Justin bring in the ley lines. Yeah. Did him well last time he played against Black Green. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't bring in Rest in Peace. Uh, <laughs> I, as much as I... <laughs> you don't want to be down a card here. Yeah, um, I, the Rest in Peace. You know, like it's fine. It's okay against Lingering Souls, Grim Flayer, and Tarmogoyf. I, but I think you just need to get there. Like, yeah, you, you, you don't want to be down a card. You'd rather have literally anything else in your deck probably besides the rest in peace. Yeah. Um, now, one thing I'd like to see Justin do, and Justin and I talked about this the other week, against these decks like, like Patrick's, there's a good chance Patrick took out all his paths. Bring in the Core Spirit Dancer yeah. from the sideboard. Justin was playing Core Spirit Dancer mainboard, which is bad because it turns on your opponent's removal. Uh, I've found over time that the best way to play this deck is to play the core's spirit dancer on the side. Sure. Because then you just straight punish your opponent for taking out their removal, and you put them in this weird sort of place where they don't know if they want to leave it in or not, and they can get absolutely just blown out. Yeah. The core spirit dancer is... Yeah, they, core yeah, they get blown out, the, or it's just dead in their hands. So. Yeah. Core spirit dancer is the most powerful card by far in the deck. Even more powerful than, than Daybreak Coronet. I mean, the, the card is just insane. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Core Spirit Dancer is a two mana zero two, and uh, for each aura attached to it, it gets plus two plus two, and whenever you cast an aura spell, you, you draw, draw a card. Card. Yeah. card is absolute gas. It's insane. Um, it's it's also the the way that the deck has the fastest clock possible, um, especially if you go turn one noble hierarch. Some of these decks play hierarch, not all of them. But if you go turn one hierarch, turn two core spirit dancer. Turn three, you, you play like three auras or something. Yeah, you can yeah. chain a whole bunch of cards and draw. It's insane.
All right, well, this time uh, Patrick is being the slow shuffler. Yeah, getting a, getting a thorough mix there. These, these two are just, uh, they're just hamming it up on here. <laughs> we got plenty of time. 44, Round five, 44, 44 minutes. 44 minutes. <laughs> We we did make them play. So you guys know, a lot of players split for the last round to uh, you know split the prize winnings and right. leave. Uh, we we actually coerced these players into playing a match. <laughs> coerced, yeah. The, I I told them they needed to practice for the PPDQ tomorrow. Okay, that's fair. And they were like, "You're right, you're right, man. We do need to practice." And I'm like, "Yeah, practice practice makes perfect. You guys want to be perfect." And I want to see your decks so <laughs> I know what you're playing very oh, well. Oh, nice. Tomorrow. So you're getting some info. Yeah, I'm I'm getting some insight. This is called insider trading. <laughs> Well, it doesn't look like Justin has a ley line. That looked like five so lands. So he's going to mulligan. You don't want five lands in Bogart. I think I saw Dryad Arbor, Temple Guard, and Temple yeah. Guard, and Swept Teeth. Maybe, maybe we need a uh, cigar to Heron's Grace. Against, or not Heron's Grace, whatever. The, yeah, the original of Cigarda, Herons, yeah. Host of Herons, yeah. yeah. Cigarda Heron's Grace, though, is a great card to Court of Calling for in a green-white humans deck. Give your humans, sure. give your humans and yourself hexproof. Cigar, big bog. I've never seen someone play big boggles, but I've heard you talk about it. I really, I really want to see a deck like yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, you play, play noble hierarchs, guys to saint trap, the run. last troll, Sigarda. Play Sohana ledge walker. Um, yeah, you play that that two mana green enchantment that searches for a legendary creature. Okay. So you yeah. search up the Sigardas, the geists, and the yeah. thrones. Do you play Reki himself? Who? Uh, the, the enchantment oh, the that guy the that's named off. on that card. Yeah. No, I no, I don't think you want him. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, that's the guy like that when history that's, or something. That's the guy that when you play a legendary spell, you, you draw, draw a card. card. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like living history of Kamigawa's yeah. title. No, he's very cool, but no, I don't think you want him. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Well, we got Justin, a ley line. Uh, Does he just have he has two ley lines? Does he just have ley line, ley line creature, three lands? Wait, wait, can't, can't, yeah, <laughs> that's it. His hand is just land, <laughs> ley lines land, and boggles. land, land creature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Oh man, here's hoping. Yeah, he's so it looks like Patrick does have an Inquisition, but Patrick does not have a Liliana of the Veil, as far as I can tell. Rancor off the top. All oh right. baby, In get there. there for three. This plan loses really bad to like one Tarmogoyf though. <laughs> yeah. Though you Justin just needs to draw running auras here. So Patrick, gosh, uh, does Patrick, if he has a Tarmogoyf, does he Inquisition himself here to get sorcery in the yard? Well, he probably just casts Tarmogoyf. Maybe, eventually, yeah. I mean, because this Boggle's a 3-1, and yeah. so <laughs> Goyf right now is only a 1-2. Yeah, right. yeah. I think you have to inc <laughs> I, w I would love to see Patrick use his hand disruption on himself to grow a Tarmogoyf for a Grim player. Yeah, I mean Patrick's the type of player to do that. He's he's a good player. He he sees a lot of lines. Yeah, the guy the guy is oh that's a dark confidant. Uh, he's Goyf. Yeah, the one two Goyf. I, I think. Ooh. I, what, is, what is that? They break Coronet. Jesus Christ! In there. The perfect draws. Of course, this gets absolutely <laughs> blown out. <laughs> Patrick's like you did Mulligan, right? <laughs> if if Patrick abrupticates him, he just loses. Yeah. You abrupticate the Rancor, and then he loses both. But oh, then he gets Rancor back, back to his yeah. hand, but he still loses the. Daybreak. I don't think Patrick has the Liliana the Veil. Does he have an Abrupt Decay or a Maelstrom uh, Pulse? I'm not sure. He's got a Siege Rhino. Okay, Siege Rhino is actually pretty sweet here, though. Yeah. Uh, if you can remove any of those enchantments. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, maybe Patrick does have Lily. I don't know, Finks. Okay. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, man, Justin with the, the insane top deck. What do we got next? Oh, man. Right. Uh, just a it it had to end someday. In so, there? He, so, actually, there. so Justin, if Justin's playing savvy here, can he actually play around Liliana the Veil by fetching a Dryad Arbor? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He <laughs> goes to 30. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you can't win this. So I, I was watching race. the stream the other day, and I saw that Justin was at 187 against uh, Paul's Dredgevine And he deck, lost. And he lost. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> because Paul cast Damnation. Yeah. And then uh, and then he just swung for like 20 for five turns yeah. or something. He kept making zombies with Crypt Breaker. It was, it was ridiculous. Well. Oh, my God. This is bad. <laughs> Holy crap. Well. Eventually... 
All right, it doesn't have first. What does Daybreak Corner give it? Vigilance and Lifelink? Plus three, plus three, Vigilance, First Strike, oh, Lifelink. First strike. Okay. So Patrick does have the Abrupt Decay. He's going to Inquisition himself, discard a Thoughtsy, sure. And then Abrupt Decay, Rancor. Abrupt Decay, the Coronet. Okay. Why Abrupt Decay the... He probably... I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't... It well, just saves... It costs it's extra just, mana. Yeah, Maybe he doesn't mana. know about that, that interaction. I'm sure. I'm sure he does. It just. I guess it really just doesn't matter. I mean, Justin has three lands. So there's no top deck that Justin could have yeah, that requires to cast. But in there with Finx. let's just block. Oh. <laughs> well, now I guess if we could draw a path for uh, Tarmogoyf. Yeah, Goyf being a four-five here by uh, making him discard his own hand disruption is pretty yeah. good. So let's see if he gets the dry at Arbor. He probably should. Yeah, so I guess Patrick, oh, he, Patrick can't did, swing, did, though. Did you see what he just uh, what he just had what? this deck? That was a rest in peace. There's a rest I, in peace. I guess rest in peace off the top here is pretty good. It's, a, it's okay, but you'd rather have anything else off the top. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather have literally anything else off the top. A path would be better off the top than a path rest would be in peace. Real good. Another boggle wouldn't be great. Ano uh, another boggle would be fine. He did not go for dry at Arbor. Yeah, hey, why don't you? I think you just get the dry at Arbor here, right? I mean. Yeah, uh, the, you're you're not even likely to find another fetch land. These Boggles decks only have four fetch lands. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, I, I I like getting the Dryad Arbor. Getting a lot. another thorough shuffling. All right. Draw for turn. It's basic planes. Well, Patrick may have turned the corner. Well. That's not quite true because Patrick, because Justin's at 27 life. Yeah, he's got a ways to go. Yeah, Patrick has to he has to wait a long time here. I mean, just Justin has a lot of draw steps. Yeah, um, there's Flare. But if Patrick finds a Liliana, it's going to be a pretty egregious misplay for Justin not to have fetched yeah. a Dryad Arbor. Well, rest in peace does look good here. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, Grim Flare is Grim Flare is still a two-two. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he didn't, yeah, it would have been better pre Grim Flare, but it's not terrible. It, this this rest in peace is okay. Oh, is that true? What? Lily minus two is a target player sacrifices a creature, so you can't choose. Oh yeah, you can't. Li yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can't. Lily wow, line is so good for this. Yeah, deck. yeah, yeah. You, yeah, that's that's correct. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't leyline through, or you can't Liliana through the leyline. But is there? There still must be. There's no reason for Justin not to get the Dryad Arbor, though, right? I mean, even if you don't care about Liliana. Eh, yeah. Like, what do you want this third temple? What do you want yeah, this third land know. for? I guess that's not really that useful. Is he... Patrick left the Lily on top. So I think you leave the Lily because you can still plus... You can, right. The stalled board state, you can plus up, plus up, plus up. Yeah. And then just make Justin sack his, sack his half his board. Oh, he's um, fetching anyway? <laughs> Okay. I I guess he just thinned his deck a lot there. He, he milled two lands and then fetched. There's no point in exiling Liliana. Yeah, it doesn't go to your yard for Delirium. Four mana. Here's Rhino. Rhino doesn't target, right? No, it's just each opponent. There's right. three life, I think. So that, well, Rhino's a big deal here. Justin because that, that sta 20. stabilizes Patrick's life total and then gives him a threat that... You know, swings, blocks so, and yeah, swings here with a trample. Spirit Mantle here would be real good. Oh, yeah. Second boggle, not great. They yeah, play it out, anything. I guess. Now we can double block uh, Grim Flare and lose both our boggles. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes it's the line you need, not the line you want. Actually, well, yeah. Does Patrick have a fatal push in hand? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I, th I think I think that's what that is. Which is fine. I mean, probably doesn't have enough cards to bring in, and you want to yeah. leave it in for the for the Dryad Arbor, for the Core Spirit Dancer, if he has it. Hey, we, I think we might be experiencing the fall of the Boggles here. Yeah. There, I mean, there are definitely some good draw steps Justin can have here, but... Ethereal Arbor would be good. Yeah, because he would, so he'd get plus one, two, three, four, five. Ethereal Armor would be yeah. plus five, plus five in first strike right and now. Trample, yeah. So yeah, Ethereal Armor would be good. Spirit Mantle would be good. Actually, but Spirit Mantle, 
doesn't give you the kill, and you could die on... Well, so Spirit Mantle can stall because you block, yeah. but you can trample over protection from creatures. Yeah. So, so he does have... Patrick did the Fatal Pushes in his deck. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... Like I said, you got to be prepared to kill the Core you Spirit Dancer. You can hit Dancer. Dryad Arbor. You can hit yeah, the Core Spirit Dancer. And I, I, my guess is he just doesn't have enough cards to bring out. Right. Or bring in. We'll see... Bob. Bob seems yeah, risky. Yeah. I don't like... Yeah, I, don't I guess they were a champion off the top. Instead, it's Foil Forest. I do not like playing Bob. I think that's how you lose the game here. I mean, I know he can Fatal Push his Bob, but... Patrick has a pretty decent board, though. He's got Grimflare and Rhino getting in there. We're in there? Uh, I don't We're in there. Well, there goes Bob. <laughs> so much for him losing to me. Yeah. <laughs> See what card it would have been. I don't know. I mean, at, at any point, he could have fatal pushed the Bob, but yeah. it's like, I think you like if he lets himself go to one draw step and he reveals like a Lingering Souls or something, you know, you, you put yourself to six there, and that's how you end up losing to like one, yeah. one nice top deck from Justin who is actually able to push through that yeah. much damage. Justin's top decks have been pretty lackluster thus far. The rest of the pieces definitely bought him a lot more draws, but still might not might not do it. Uh, another Grim Flare. Another Bakalu. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> buy him a little bit more time. In there, yeah. Man. Is he just dead? No, he can take six. No, yeah, I think he's just dead. So this is the other problem with uh, six, yeah. with decks like Justin's going on this plan of boarding in too many cards. Justin is on... Justin's played Leyline, Leyline, Rest in Peace here. If those three cards, which I, I assume he took out... he You know, Justin probably took out something like Totem Armors for the... You know, or he took out Keen Sense, or yeah. he took out, you know... He, he took out some auras for those, right? Or maybe he took out Pass, but I doubt it. Yeah, but I, I doubt he would if take Justin out just had three auras instead of those three cards, I mean, Justin was on the play for this game. Like, how good is how much do you need Leyline when you're on the play? Yeah. You know, I mean, you get to play your Boggle, and they can't kill it. They have to Liliana you, but you can always fetch for your Dryad Arbor or play another creature. What do you really need Leyline for on the play? And then the rest in peace is fine, but on on... I don't know. If if Justin just had three actual, I mean, the reason he couldn't win this game is because his only aura of of worth was this uh, Daybreak, which got Abrupticade. Yeah. If he had just had three more auras, he, he could have won. He could have just won the Creature Ground War. You, you, you can't board. You can't board in. Uh, you yeah. Can't board in too many cards. That's gonna do it. He drew all of his lands and all of his boggles, and not any. Action for I mean, his boggles. I mean, certainly it was it was a tough mulligan for Justin, and obviously he didn't draw great. He had a lot of lands. But yeah. I, I don't know if you need the ley line on the on the play. Maybe. I don't know. Ley line still seems good because it protects you from getting sacrificed. Yeah, but this I, again, I with Cartouche of Solidarity and with being able to fetch Dryad Arbor, and I assume he has. I mean, he has more than eight boggles. He's also got yeah, a little ledge walkers. I don't know how much you care about Leyline. What? Yeah, Justin's Justin's saying that he took out he Spirit took Mantles. Out Spirit Mantles, Spirit yeah, Mantles that, is one of the best cards uh, yeah. in this match. <laughs> I mean, if you're worried about Tarmac, if you're bringing in Rest in Peace for Tarmac Glyphs, yeah, I bet you, you bring in Spirit Mantle yeah. for Tarmac Glyphs. All right, well, anyway, thanks for thanks for hanging with us, folks. We yeah, hope you gonna, enjoyed. That's uh, going to be our fifth and final round. Um, we hope to see you at the... Uh, oh, my, my mic's... Uh, we're, we're back. I'm having some audio trouble. Uh, we'll hope to see you at the PPTQ tomorrow. At uh, I think it's a time warp. Okay. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be playing a sweet deck. Uh, one of many sweet decks that I own. It's I'm not just sweet. kidding. I only own two decks. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I, own, I own a lot of modern cards, but I I don't put them into actual decks. I just have. Well, you them. do, and then they're terrible. Well, then. yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> the, at SCG Cincy, I I went to I went to the standard 
and played modern side events. I played Bushwhacker Zoo with Dryad Militants instead of Experiment Ones, <laughs> and it was so it was, bad. It was bad. I actually it was real I, bad. I had some when I was gold fishing the deck by myself. I would like have all these turn two turn not turn two but turn three kills, and then when I went to actually play the deck, my opening hands would be like four lands, an Akadol. <laughs> and two more lands. I don't know. I had terrible hands. Yeah, it was it was not pretty. I I, I got destroyed. Yeah, he just he just rolled out of two events. But anyway, so uh, good luck if you're going to said PP2Q tomorrow. And just one quick thing before we leave. Remember, we do now have the ability for you guys to subscribe to us. So, you know, we've had some some good discussion in the chat here and some consistent viewership. If you guys want to help us out, uh, keep us supported, keep things improving, please do consider subscribing. It's only it's only five dollars a month, or it's free if you happen to have Amazon Prime. Uh, so thanks for staying with us for another week, guys, and we'll, we'll catch you next week.